Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Siva Tube. Hope you all are doing well. So okay, let's get started. Today we will learn about how to generate PDF using HTML file. So suppose uh, you got a functionality in your project to develop where you have to create an email template or any reporting kind of thing where you need to add data dynamically to that file or any HTML file and then you need to generate it for uh, multiple users or employees uh, etc so uh, in that case what you will do so there are lots of tools but the very basic and very like a good understanding tool is theme leaf so it's a very uh, like fine tool which is provided by theme leaf organization and that is supporting all the like uh, multiple frameworks but a spring boot is the most uh, used widely used framework with that theme leaf so today we will focus on this functionality where we will see how we will add data dynamically to that html file and then after rendering those data we will create pdf from that okay so let's go through this uh, image flow once see here you can see the data map i have added employee first name employee last name employee email so there are three records like uh, employee first name last name and email three records are there and here you can see this uh, template already existing template so this kind of template like suppose we want to send an email or we need to generate a report that report need to be uh, created in a HTML format and then we need to upload it to any storage or we need to send it uh, uh, to multiple users through their email so uh, there will be multiple uh, functionalities and multiple use cases right but first uh, we need to discuss like how this data will be binded dynamically to this template so there is a, a tool that tool is template engine the template engine is nothing but theme leaf so that theme leaf what it will do is it will render these two components these two like data ma data map and this theme leaf template right after rendering it will create one html file with this so this HTML file will be converted with the data. So this data will be binded to this HTML file and then both together it will create one HTML file and then this HTML file we can use in different different use cases like we can send this HTML file to email or we can generate directly report or we can just convert it to a PDF. So here today we will discuss about how to generate this PDF through HTML right so let's get to the uh, uh, to the coding part So for the coding part, first we need to create Spring Boot project. So hope you everybody knows how to create the Spring Boot project, right? So we'll create one Spring Startup project. Okay, I'm naming it to HTML to PDF. Okay. So I'm naming it to HTML to PDF. 
so I am naming it to HTML to PDF okay now here group name I can give like com dot see what you okay and com dot see what you package name so here you can you can select uh, whatever the version you are uh, prefer means you prefer and I am uh, taking version as Java 8 and language is Java and packaging is jar okay now we will create next and here we need to add few dependencies that the first dependent is dependency is theme leaf so this theme leaf dependency we can add and now I am going to add a spring web also now next and then finish so it will take some time to uh, get all the files to be loaded and then we can start so here we can see like uh, it is downloaded and this is the folder structure you can see for a spring boot application now this is not enough whatever we have added the dependencies that is not enough we need to add and that HTML to PDF one I text uh, dependency is there we need to add that one as well to convert it to HTML from PDF so we'll add one dependency group ID will be like com dot text pdf okay now we need to add it to artifact id it is html to pdf okay now we need to add the version as well that is 2.1.2 we can see the latest version but uh, I know this one I have added already so just okay so this dependency is added okay now as uh, uh, let's uh, go through this image once so this data map and this theme lib template and this template engine so first we will create this template uh, theme lib template okay and then we will store it to our uh, uh, that file that folder structure so here in this uh, resources in this template we will create that HTML file one now in this template file we will write uh, the template now here in this template uh, HTML we will write the template so table I am starting directly from here only table head and then tr and then th first name then I'll copy all this employee last name then employ email okay now after tr we need to add table data right so t, t head 
ਗਿਣਤੀ ਬਾਰੀ so in this tier what we will do is uh, we will add that syntax of theme leaf where we will iterate okay now this employees will be passing from our java and then here we will render through this this is an object uh, now single object now we will td so in this td we will bind all this th text is equal to dom single employ dot first name right and then same this one we will copy and paste it multiple times okay now here employ first name employ last name and then employ email right so this is done now this template part is done right so this template part is done now what are the things we need to develop we need to first uh, like there are uh, multiple things this template engine uh, where we will render all this and then how it will be processed to html then how to generate pdf so this functionality we need to write right so let's create some packages and then we can proceed so first we will create a package where we will write the logic how to convert it to pdf so this is a document generator where uh, i will write uh, here i will write the logic how to convert it to pdf uh, one functionality i will write where uh, the data will come here as an html uh, and then that html we will convert it to pdf right so let's uh, so first uh, html pdf right so that file that data will be coming as uh, a string format that html file processed html right now see here you can see this processed html is we will take it as an uh, as a string and then we will pass to this functionality where pdf will be generated so this is nothing but where we will call this method and we will pass this processed html and then we will create pdf so for creating pdf we need to uh, right uh, in byte array and this uh, file uh, we need to take right so first we will create a byte array output stream mm, sorry byte array output stream is there but 
copy and put a string now we will write some handling exception handling mechanism try and catch right. so here uh, what we will uh, write is we need to create it to pdf right so for that first we need to create one pdf writer okay so this pdf writer is provided by itext pdf that uh, dependency we have added right we had added this one oh. Now this PDF writer, where we will write this PDF writer means what on what basis uh, we will write. So we will pass this byte array output stream to this one. Now uh, whatever the default font provider and converter properties we been, we need to provide those. So here we need to pass like uh, here you can see. Uh, this is also provided by HTML in this iText only, right? So first we will go inside this one. What here you can see the default provider. Uh, this is a class, and then here you can see boolean is there, boolean is there, and then boolean. So these three things in this constructor we need to pass, right? So first we will pass as false so this all uh, you can go through this uh, itext uh, pdf generation now we will now we will uh, these all things are uh, written right now we, we need to write the HTML converter which will basically convert this uh, HTML file into PDF okay so there is one uh, class is there HTML converter is there so this you can see HTML converters is the class you will use most when converting HTML to PDF. So this is also provided by iText PDF only. So here one method is there convert to PDF. Okay. Now here what we need to give is first what HTML file this processed HTML we need to pass is pass it here. then this pdf writer we need to pass it here okay now this properties we need to pass it here okay so um, there is one thing like uh, this default font we have not set it anywhere right uh, so this converter properties we need to set this default so there is one method when we are properties dot set font provider so default font that is automatically set okay now all these things are done now HTML uh, this processed HTML uh, is been written to this PDF writer and 
through this PDF writer, it has been written to byte arrow at photo stream. Now what we need to do is we need to take this byte output stream as our file. Okay. So first we will create file output stream now. So here we need to give our local uh, file address where we need to store our file. So let me give that later first. Not right. So this is nothing but default. right to close uh, every time uh, like uh, this is a stream so uh, without closing this stream now we cannot uh, uh, make sure like this has been uh, completed okay so we need to always close that stream and then we need to flush and then this effort we need to close file output stream okay now we are done okay so here we can return just uh, simply null for now and then also if exception occurred then simply null okay no just for now normally i am writing this one so at last we will give the file uh, generation path uh, where the file will be generated so this is a whole logic our logic is developed now for converting it to pdf the html file whatever we will pass so once this one is generated dynamically then it will be converted and stored to local or wherever we want so that path we need to provide it here okay now what we need to develop is this part is completed and this part is completed now this processed html how it will be created and how this data will be binded to this one now this part is completed so we'll create one mapper class so let create one class So this data mapper what it will do is it will create a context like map key value map pair as we discussed this one so this data map will be created so this one also we can bind it at red service now we will create one method So this context is nothing but uh, you can see here thimble context is there right so this context is key value pair we can assign the values to it so here we can uh, first we will create one employee uh, object so
so here uh, this data we can assign like first name last name employee email so this uh, just uh, employee class only we are creating pojo class we can say model Sorry, mm, generate good and setups. Select all and generate. Okay, now here we will set as employee. So what this employee will do is So this context we, we will set here we will set variable or put So here uh, we will create one map where a string sorry object a string will be this and a list of employee will be there. So I'll pass as list of employee because multiple employees will be there now so we'll pass as list of employee list we need to take java util not this one map also we need to check java util has map right now Data dot put key and employee okay list employees we can say employee list so here we can say employees okay now we will return context so this is done uh, our data mapper is done so wherever this set data we will be calling uh, where the document generator will be there uh, document one class will be there we will call this method and we will pass list of employees right so this list of employees what we are doing is we are binding it to this data variable this context so what it will do is means this employees is nothing but here you can see this one this employees you can see right 
this employees so that variable it will take the value and it will bind here that employees list of employees that object and then one single employee will be coming here and then we will binding it dynamically here and multiple rows will be created okay so we'll see <coughs> now this is done now we will be creating one document the final step rest controller we will give okay so here a rest controller we are creating here so first what we will do is so this one endpoint i have created generate document and this generate document will take one request body where list of employee details will be coming and those details what i will do is i will directly sending it to that uh, particular class for binding right this data mapper we we, we have created a here right In this mapper so that data mapper I have used here now first what I will do is I'll create one uh, map that will use to do the final mapping uh, first I'll create one string final HTML will be there next so final HTML no spring template engine dot process. So this first I will template. Okay. So this template with this data context. thing more we need to create here that is document generator so this document generator is nothing but uh, the first we have created right at the this one to convert it to PDF so that document generator again we have binded it here right this document generator and then I will use it here to generate final HTML to this one final so it will send this final HTML after binding the data this context data we have already set it here right so this employee list will be coming through the uh, anywhere the endpoint where we will call in so for here we will calling in the postman so I'll show you and this final HTML will be passed to here and then now we will send dummy uh, return so now guys uh, everything is done the coding is done finally right so now we will change the path of this one because once the PDF will be generated so where it will be stored so what I will do is uh, let me open this first and uh, one second so here you can see I can go here in desktop I will create one folder okay in desktop I will create one folder document 
and under document i will create that pdf okay so this path you can remember users shivaji chandra desktop and document right now let's move here users shivaji chandra please get yes with desktop document now what will be the name of that pdf so employee dot pdf okay and uh, now what i will do is we will hit this api okay this endpoint by passing the employee list so from where we will hit this is a postman so here already i have created that data you can see here that image you can see here first one last one for email one first two last two email two so that data already i have created here you can see okay this is a list and one one object is there so three objects i have created now i'll just hit this api or else let me put a debug point okay i have already kept a debug point so let's start debugging here Okay, oh, sorry, it's not running. Let's run our application. Okay, it's running now. So let's hit this debug point. Now we'll go inside this one. this is processing right so once that is processed our final html data will be created here so you can see here this is the final you can see three rows are there right table row now this data context already we have uh, uh, taken from here set data right now this final html is done means up to this part is done final processed html is done now this processed html we are transferring to generate the pdf so this is the method so we'll go to this method already here debug point is there now here you can see we came right so just we will pass this one so here it is converting that Uh, processed html to pdf writer it will write the pdf to this one byte array output stream now from that byte array output stream we have already this one so we will write here so how we will write so just we are creating one f out file output stream where file output stream here and what will be the name of that file employee dot pdf now this f out is this one right so byte array output stream is this reference so byte array output stream write to f out and then we will close plus and then close so let's see okay this we will pass see this is success here now we will go to that path Okay, so so document desktop document employee PDF here it's generated right. So here you can see this is generated. So this uh, first one, first one, first one, last one, last one, last one, email one, email one. So that data might be the okay. That data issue. i have here kept uh, first one first one last one like, like that that's why it is created like this so this is the way we can create the pdf through html there are multiple things we can discuss on but uh, this was the agenda of this uh, video so this whole scenario is been captured and we have completed this so hope you like this video and if you like this video 
please do subscribe my channel and please do do whatever the comment you supposed to like uh, if you want any other videos to be made i will make sure so please add and share this video to everyone thanks thanks for watching this video